Hi everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel. Okay, where do we even begin? So I've had this YouTube channel for a really long time and it's been very inactive for like five or six years. I started a YouTube channel when I was 21 or 22. I think I was at art college at the time. I ended up graduating from there with a painting degree and getting like thrown into the marketing world. And it's been nonstop ever since. I also found dance and like threw all my creative energy into dance. This whole time I've been like, do I need to decide between my dance journey and my YouTube video journey and how does me as an artist, like how does that make sense when it comes to videography, photography, design, all the things that I do. So I know it's been a couple years and you guys like have no idea who I am or what I do and what I have to bring to the table. So I'm gonna share with you guys a little about me and then I'm gonna give you guys a little life update. So, I am Jill, I'm a creative, I live in Calgary, Alberta. I'm 29 years old and I started my creative artistic journey when I was obviously very young. I have a five years of sewing technique behind me and then from there I like got introduced to arts college and I wanted to be a painter and while I was at our college wanting to be a painter I wanted to be a videographer so I started like a wedding video business and that evolved into a photography business and then I was picked up after college straight away into the marketing world I got thrown in there so yeah it's been a couple years and then from there I got thrown into graphic design so yeah i have like so much knowledge so much expertise now but like when it comes to my creative process and the stuff that i really want to do and share it's always been kind of like confusing about who i am and like i've been on this huge journey of discovering who i am as an artist i think you know some of you guys might know me because i do have a podcast i have a podcast that really goes in depth on my spiritual journey and some of the things that are really important to me like being a survivor of purity culture and growing up as a christian and like going through deconstruction and then through that spiritual journey like coming back to my creativity and i think like it's been this well-rounded kind of thing where at the end of the day i've had to look at myself and my creativity and like the monetization of my creativity and try and figure out ways to reclaim it so for some people that make, make, might make sense and I know for those like more business minded marketing people it might not make sense like if you're not creating for money then why are you creating dance like came in and changed my life guys when I stopped on YouTube I took a pause on it because it was taking so much of my energy and that there was like really no return. I just like threw myself into dance and a huge reason why I went on that journey was to discover my sexuality, my sensuality, and my body and my movement. And so from the ages of 22 through 27, I was training a lot with dance. And then COVID hit, you know, COVID hit and like just stopped everything and so dance kind of was, took a pause for me. I love my dance studio and I'm hoping to get back, but there was like a turnover of people and it's just like been really hard for me to get back to it. So yeah, essentially I'm sitting here today because there is so many visions and ideas and beautiful things that I want to create that I just have felt like blocked with and YouTube has always been, up, been at the back of my mind. So. I'm back here on YouTube. I'm so excited. I got a new camera, so I'm primarily going to be doing like a video blog. I'm off to Canmore today to see my friend Bria from Toronto. I haven't seen her in such a long time. We connected on social media in like 2015. She hired me to make content for her online web blog back then. It was called Heights Magazine. And she's such a cool person. So I'm really excited to connect. It's been so long. I'm sucking on a throat lozenger because I came down with like this crazy COVID kind of bug. I don't think it's COVID though. Or I think it, I, it could have been, I don't know. Basically I'm testing negative, but I've had this, I don't know. Has anyone, has any of you ever experienced this? So every time I get a cold, I go through like very succinct stages of my cold. And one stage of that is like this crazy coughing stage. 
be minding my own business and then all of a sudden I get the most incredibly crazy itch in my throat and it will send me into an insane coughing fit to the point where I'm crying. Literally look like I'm gonna hurl. And this has happened to me my entire life and it always happens succinctly after I go through like the first two or three stages of a cold. I'm in that stage. The only thing that helps me through it is the Halls throat lozenges. And it happened to me like three days in a row. So I'm about to hit the road for an hour and a half drive. My worst fear is having this coughing pit start while I'm driving. And it totally has happened before where I've had to pull over. But in this situation, because I'll be driving out of Calgary on a major highway, I have like Halls. Okay, honestly, I gotta get those like in the closer reach because honestly, I think I could die. I think that I think you could take me out one day. So I'm here in Kevin Moore, just hanging out. I'm sitting at a park bench here and waiting for my friend Ria. And really excited. We're gonna go get some food. I went and like looked around a bunch of stores and it was really great and yeah, very excited. for my new job so okay consignment tna i think wilfred or something this jacket apparently it's jeriff avenue dupe i found on tiktok at old navy which is crazy i never shopped there basic white shirt and then these shoes apologize that my place is a mess okay bye I'm so nervous today is my first day at my new job and so I just like threw on this outfit got these nice dress pants wanted to go in and make a bang I'm loving this shirt from Zara just kind of tuck it and then I'm just trying to decide on a jacket it's so early I've never like gotten up this early for work but it's gonna be fine, we're gonna do it. So you have the full picture now. I'm so nervous, I'm so excited. So I'm gonna make a really fast little smoothie because otherwise I won't have anything to drink and then I think we'll call it, that's it. Then I'll hit the road. Hi, I'm at work office space. This is Sarah. You might remember Sarah. Sarah and I used to go to art school together and now we work together and I think we're actually gonna do a little podcast episode talking about like our career journeys because I mean we've been out of school for like years at this point. Like, probably five six years. Graduated 2015. Anyway I'm gonna show you guys my desk. So what we have here is a bloody stain on the floor. This is, I mean, I feel like they've been up to no good here. So I came in and we just have a murder scene. But it's okay because everyone's really into true crime anyway. And then I'm trying the Tim Beeb. Sarah and I also on our lunch break went to the gem store and I grabbed this. I don't, it, it, apparently it means, I put, put the meeting right up here, that it's a stone for personal growth. So... I mean, it's kind of a weird, a weird stone to choose, but I'm into it. So yeah, that's about it. This is the office space. Janaea sits there. There's three of us. This wall is impeccable and scrupulous. And then <laughs> you're like, don't, don't say that, girl. So we work in this loft, and there's other people working in the warehouse have like a really beautiful huge educational space downstairs. Yeah. 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 
Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. I believe that. Everybody know Oh, you're just crazy I ain't trying to keep it close Oh, mama, I want it Just let it fall If you tell me you want it, baby My Roro This is the bike that I didn't manifest, but I bought when I thought it was a manifestation. So yeah, this is Victoria Beach. This is a little lake kind of town in Manitoba. My parents, my mom's side of the family is from Manitoba and so they always have a lake house out here and I've always loved it. So going through what I'm going through right now, I just wanted to relocate out of Calgary and get into nature. I feel really lucky that I could even come. It's not that hot out and there's lots of mosquitoes. Darling. Darling, stay a while and figure me out. I promise you won't regret it. No, you won't regret it. I got weight, I got life. But I ain't trying to use it just to get where you go. Ooh, baby. Hi. I'm back from the
going for a walk. I'm gonna go down to the beach. It's not that sunny out today, but it's gonna be okay. Got my book. We're gonna do some more journaling. And I've been just like really taking it easy. Had an amazing shower outside. There's an outdoor shower here, which I love. And yeah, that's about it. Hi everyone. I'm currently at my beach house with my family, spending some time with the fam. I'm gonna be reading some books, processing, and working on my personal brand and my business, which I'm relaunching my photography business. Yeah, it's exciting. I've always been a photographer, but I started as a videographer and doing weddings and then like kind of fell into the marketing world and was an in-house photographer for a marketing agency for like four or five years. And now I'm rebuilding the structure of my brand, which is super exciting. And so yeah, that's what I'll be doing today. My friend Donna like gave me this laptop that I could use because I currently don't have a laptop actually. Amazon had owed me like almost $4,000 right now because I returned a laptop to them and they haven't gotten it to me back. So if any of you have gone through something like that, please let me know. And other than that, the podcast is coming back. So the podcast I have is about religious deconstruction and purity culture and recovering and finding your spirituality and kind of like even breakup tips, everything like that. So the podcast is coming back. So I'll be working on all of those things and opening a new chapter of my life. So yeah, thank you guys for watching. So my friends and I, we like to get together and go to these moon circles put on by my two friends, Tacey and Elle. Uh, it happens like every kind of month on the full moon and it's just like a great time to center yourselves. Every time Elle gets us to create something out of plants, which I really love because she's an alchemist. So here we're creating our own fragrances. And just like that, I'm off to Utah for the first time to go to a portfolio building weekend put on by Marina Williams. I was so excited to get into ColourPop, which is for photographers, and we had 10 different photo shoots over the span of one weekend. So it was super exciting, super intense, and I loved it so much. Okay. We're done! We're done! And the first right, shoot it was so Canadian. fun! Essentially all of us were in this one big house and they had styled and produced everything So all we had to do was show up and do our magic with shooting and stuff. I fell in love with Utah I can't wait to go back. I'm so sad this trip was over I'm going to be sharing more about this in a future vlog I am going to a dinner party. This is my fit, forgive all the mess. I do my makeup right here. So I'm gonna wear Air Max and then this cute dress, it's from Zara and a Levi's jumper. Hi. So I don't wear a lot of color usually, but I'm changing my life. And I think color is changing my life. So yeah, we're about to go to a dinner party. Come with me tonight. I'm really good at it in the middle of the so I'm really excited. Let's go. Uh, 